fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's trouble in the trail ahead. Oh, Silver! Silver! Down the long, curving slope on the stagecoach route between Bighorn and Mesquite thundered a six-in-hand stage. The coach was painted scarlet and carried the name Jarvis on each side. And high up in the jolting driver's seat, feet braced against the board, rifle snug in the scabbard under the seat, three pairs of reins held in his brown fists, was Jim Jarvis himself. He narrowed his eyes and peered down through the heat haze at a little shack at the bottom of the slope. Hey, Miss Nelly! Miss Nelly! Don't shout at me, Jim Jarvis. Is that any way to talk to a passenger? Well, I've got to shout so you can hear me. We're almost at the halfway house. So soon? Yes, sir. I told you we'd make good time. Oh, I'm glad I'm still alive. <laughs> the trouble with you is you've been riding with a Nelson stagecoach. Now you're riding with a real stage line. Bob Nelson's all right. Uh, he's a skunk and a coyote and a farmer. Besides, he's after my best girl. You're referring to me, Jim Jarvis. Oh, I sure am, Miss Nelly. And let me tell you this. My stagecoach line is better than Bob Nelson's. And I'll make a better husband than Bob Nelson. <laughs> You pick a fine time for courting me, Jim. Yeah, that's the only time when Bob Nelson isn't around that I can see you talk to him. What the... Jim, what's happening? The coat gave a third time. One of the wheels fell off. No. we got to slow down. We'll smash the smithereens. Now, hold on, Miss Nelly. Hold on. Easy there, like you. Easy, boy. Easy. Steady, horse. <laughs> So fast, I guess I beat Jim Jarvis to halfway house this time, didn't I? He's coming the other way, Nelson. It's might longer. Yeah, but he isn't here yet. Maybe not, but you brought your stagecoach from Bighorn. That's 52 miles from Mesquite. It's 53 miles. Only one mile difference. Sure, but the trail's much tougher from Mesquite. Say, puzzles me, Nelson. Yeah? You two young fellas ought to be friends. <laughs> oh, I mean it. You're both about the same age. Nice young fellas, except you both got hair trigger tempers. Why, you could join up, run a stage line together, make money that way. Me team up with Jim Jarvis? Not on your life, Topaz. Well, there's not enough business for two stage lines. You didn't have any passengers, did you? Well, what... Of course you didn't. It's about all you can do to keep your stagecoach in repair. Well, Jarvis isn't making any money either. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess there's no sense trying to calm down a pair of wildcats, is there? Before I'm through, I'll run Jarvis out of business. Yeah. He says the same thing about you. Hey, what's that? Oh, no. oh. Oh, oh. Well, 
Jarvis. Jim Jarvis. I told you he'd make good time. He's... Hey, horse man, what's wrong with the stage? We've got a wheel missing. If he don't drag that team down, he'll turn a somersault to sure shooting. Rain him up, Jim. Keep their heads up. Don't let them trip. Head the lead, Pull them up. Yank those reins. Oh, yeah. Sure was a close call. That's right, smart driving, Jim. Where did it happen? Halfway down the slope. The wheel just busted right loose. I hope Miss Nellie's all right. Miss Nellie, are you all right? Fit as a fiddle, Jim. Just give me an arm out. Oh, land of Goshen. I never had such a wild ride in all my born days. You saved my life, Jim. Well, I had to, seeing as I almost lost it. I wonder how I could have been so careless, letting that wheel get loose enough to Come fall Come on off. in the halfway house and have a drink, Jim. It's on me. I reckon you can use it, eh? And I've got something nice and cool for you, Miss Nellie. Well, you go on ahead, Miss Nellie. I'll be right along. I want to look at this coach and see what happens. Don't be too long, Jim. Uh, Bob Nelson's inside. Just brought his stage in from Bighorn. Nelson, huh? I'm not interested in that hombre. I'll be right along. Uh, Kino. Beats me, Miss Nellie. Two nice young fellas like that. Ought to be friends. Hello, still there, Dusty. I want to see what happened. Friends. I don't want Nelson's a coyote. Competing against my stage line when he knows there's only business enough for one. But before I'm through, I... That's funny. Looks like something happened to that wheel. I'm positive that pin wasn't bent. Or... Well, I'll be... It looks like it was sawed. Almost in half. Sawed and... So that's it. Somebody did it deliberate. Figured on killing me. And there's only one gen I know of who'd want to do that. Nelson. <laughs> oh, Bob, I just wish you and Jim would give up this silly argument and, and get to be friends. There's no sense to it at all. Well, I don't like him and never have, Miss Nellie. But look, oh, no use beating your head against a stone wall, Miss Nellie. They're both stubborn as mules. Got tempers like lobo wolves. Bob, you didn't even come outside to help stop the stagecoach. Oh, I didn't know you were in it, Miss Nellie. But even so, you could have helped Jim Jarvis. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, the sooner he breaks his neck, the better. I know you felt that way, Nelson, but I never figured to be ornery enough to try and kill me. Oh, it's you. Nelson, you made that wheel drop off my stagecoach. What'd you say? You're loco, Jarvis. Jim, what are you saying? Miss Nellie, that was no accident. Somebody fixed my coat so the wheel would fall off. I got the proof right in my hand. Well, I'll be doggone. That's the pin that holds the wheel on. It's been sawed almost in half. Why, Jim, whoever did that is no better than a murderer. Yeah. Did you hear that, Nelson? Jarvis, are you claiming I pulled a trick like that? There's nobody else I know of could have done it. Sure, I'm saying it. Well, I won't bother denying it. Bob, you didn't. Of course I didn't, Miss Nellie. But this polecat just as much as call me the kind of no-good hombre who'd shoot somebody in the back. What he what needs is a talk. You're wearing guns and so am I. We'll settle this with bullets. Well, that suits me to a T. Jim, Bob. Get to one side, Miss Nellie. Topaz, you better get her out of now, here. Now, now, boys, listen now. Let's not have any... Get out, Topaz. Oh, oh, bullheaded. Bullheaded. It's no use, Miss Nellie. No, I won't let him oh, fight. It's no use, I tell you. Come along. No, boys. please. No use. Please. When two wildcats make up their minds to fight, you might just as well let them get it over. <laughs> Come outside, Miss Nellie. I'll give you one chance, Jarvis. Take back what you said about me. Nobody would pull an ornery trick like that but you, Nelson. Kino, that settles it. You were on a gun. And I'm gone. You'll never... Oh, what the... Oh, my gun. This gunfight's over before it starts. It's a masked man. I suppose you're a partner of Nelson. He's no partner of mine, Jarvis. Just stand still while I get my... We heard the shot. Jim. Jim did my... Oh, what happened? Well, mask out, Law. Jim, you... Well, neither one of you is hurt? No, the only bullets came from the masked man's guns. Which one of you owns a stage that's going to Mesquite? I do, mister. Good. Let's get traveling. Huh? I have a passenger for your stagecoach. Hello. Uh, me here. The stage for Mesquite is leaving in a few minutes. Here's a driver. He's taking you there. But he not savvy. He not go to Mesquite. You're going there now, Kimo Sabe. Let's scout trail along beside the coach. Uh, you understand? Oh, hello, Savvy. Say, what's this all about? Are you two gents road agents? You'll or... find nothing worth stealing from my stagecoach. I can tell you that right now. Now, let's not argue. Hello's in a hurry to get to Mesquite. Yeah? Why? So he can come back in a hurry. So that he... Well, of all the crazy reasons I have... <laughs> get moving, Nelson. Ah, uh, you come along, Pronto. I, I reckon I've got to. Adios, Miss Nellie. I'll see you back in Bighorn. Adios, Bob. Adios, Nelson. Well, at least you'll get over your mad. Not me. I remember things. 
You hear that, Jarvis? I heard you, Nelson. I'll be waiting in Bighorn, too. Kino, when I get there, you'll be ready for a gunfight. And that one won't be interrupted. Adios. Adios, Kimostabi. See you in Bighorn? Adios, Tonto. In Bighorn. Well, now, what are you going to do, mister? Your stagecoach lost a wheel, didn't it? What? How did you know? Well, and I saw you on the slope. Jarvis, you get outside and start putting that wheel back on your stage. Well, how can I? That wheel's halfway up the mountain. No, it isn't. Right outside. You see, we picked it up on the way here. You did? Well, now I... Now, never mind I... the thanks. The sooner you got your wheel back on, the sooner you head for Bighorn. Uh, but just a moment. Get up! Come on! Get up! All right. Nelson's headed for Mesquite. So if there's no danger, you'll start that gunfight again. You can go now. Well, that depends. What do you aim to do? I, uh... I'm staying here. I'm going to talk to Miss Nellie and Topaz while you fix that wheel. You see, I'm curious to find out what this is all about. Now go ahead. And that's just about the whole story, Mask Man. I don't know why I should be talking to an outlaw so freely, but... Oh, so that's some... it. Stagecoach rivalry, huh? Nelson doesn't look like the kind of a youngster who'd pull a trick like that. Does he, Topaz? Well, it's hard to say, mister. Like Jarvis mentioned, who else would? Oh, Topaz, you know Bob wouldn't do a thing like that. You like Bob Nelson, Miss Nelly? Oh, I like them both. Oh, they're both such awfully nice boys, I declare it's a shame. But long as the fat's in the fire, neither one of them will ever back down now. Yeah, as sure as the sunrise, they'll be gunning for each other from now on. Someday they'll let fly. And either one or both of them will go down with a bullet Topaz. in Topaz. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Nellie. Isn't there anyone else who might have cut that bolt in half? That's just it, mess, man. I can't think of a single soul. Yeah, every sign points to Nelson. Sure is strange what a man's temper will get him into. Well, you can see there's nothing more for me to do here. You, you leave it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Silver. Mister, you're the most peculiar outlaw I ever met up with. You bust in here and stop a gunfight. You send one of them one way and make sure the second head's the other way. Why, don't even rob my cash box. Can't figure it out. Don't try it, Topaz. Silly boy. Oh, mister, that's the most beautiful horse I ever saw. Silver appreciates the compliment, Miss Nellie. I think so, too. And uh, don't worry too much. Perhaps I'll be around again when they try to shoot each other. Adios. Adios. Topaz, I don't know why, but somehow or other I have confidence in every word he says. Huh. I don't even think he's really an outlaw. Topaz? Uh, uh, hmm? You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Uh, reckon I've been thinking, Miss Nellie. About Jim and Bob? About... Well, yeah, you might say so. Yeah. Well, the wheel's all fixed and I'm ready. Say, what happened to that mast, hombre? He's gone, Jim. I guess we'd better head for Bighorn. Jim, you'll apologize to Bob Nelson, won't you? Not a chance, Miss Nellie. Nelson played me an ornery trick. And the only way we'll settle it is with bullets. I'll meet him in Bighorn. Say, Jim. Yeah, Topaz? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I just wonder who that masked man is. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. Halfway house, after all that excitement in the early afternoon, became quiet. The sun went down, and a little later, a man rode from the house and traveled a mile or so along the trail toward Bighorn. There he stopped. A second man walked his horse up beside him. In the darkness, they talked quietly. Didn't work, eh? No. I figured as much when I saw Jervis's stage heading for Bighorn this afternoon. Did the wheel come off? Yeah. But... Was it that mask, hombre? Seems to me I heard shooting coming from that it direction. It was him. That's too bad. Had it all figured out right smart. I figured those two mavericks would start trading bullets. One of them would be finished off, and the other would have to skip out of the territory or go to jail. Who was that gent? I don't know. What about Jarvis and Nelson? Still blazing mad at each other? <laughs> Hopping mad. Well, that's something accomplished anyway. This time it didn't work. But maybe all it needs is to keep fanning the fires. Keep them plenty mad with each other. Nelson's due in Big Horn tomorrow. What good will that do if Jarvis isn't around? Wait a minute. Jarvis will be around. He'll have to lay over in Bighorn a couple of days to get that wagon fixed up permanent, won't he? Uh, calculate so. Well, that's not so bad after all. Yeah. In fact, it's pretty doggone good. This time, maybe something ought to happen to Nelson's stage, yeah? Say what I mean? But sure, yeah. that's it. Something happens to Nelson's stage, he sees red and starts right out gunning for Jarvis. The two of them meet in Bighorn, and we have no more competition than setting up our own stage line. You forget. What about the mask man? <laughs> That's just what I didn't forget. That mask man won't be able to stop it. No, sirree, not this time. Oh? No. He might have stopped it over at the halfway house. But that was different. Halfway house is out in the trail. There isn't a sheriff or a marshal in any kind of law any place around, or even neighbors for that matter. But savvy this, it'll be a mite different in Bighorn. Any gent that pokes his nose into that town wearing a mask will run smack into the law. Uh, maybe he takes his mask off. Uh, I tell you, somehow or other, I get a sneaking feeling that fellow is one gent who likes to keep his mask on. <laughs> yeah. We'll fix him this time for good. And the masked man won't be able to stop it. Now, here... Whoa, hold that! Don't you hide! Whoa, hold that! Oh. Uh, that's better. I think what made him do that. There's no reason why... Hey, do you hear something? Hmm? No. Gino. You said just imagine it. All right, now listen close. Here's what we're going to do to Nelson's stage when he gets to Bighorn tomorrow night. Aye! Aye, King Osabis, Teddy Silvers, Teddy Wu. You made good time, Miss Guitaro. You ride alongside Nelson's stage? Ah, and him nice fella. Him tell me all about what happened. Him not make wheel come off Jarvis' coach. That's my own feeling, Tato. Uh, young Nelson is still angry. Oh, him plenty mad. Maybe Jarvis makes story up, huh? No, Tonto. After you left Halfway House, I had time to study Jarvis, just as you studied Nelson. I'm convinced that both of them are as honest as a summer's day. Somebody else, Kimo Sabi. Oh. Perhaps I should have stayed at Halfway House and talked to Topaz. Who, him? He runs that in. Oh, me not see him. Well, that's right. You stayed outside the door. Ah. But wait. It's a long ride back from Mesquite. Didn't you pass halfway house? Uh-huh. Me pass it. You didn't stop in? Oh, uh, nobody in there. Uh, but what this fella Topaz looked like, huh? Hello. You got something on your mind. That right. What is it? Uh, me hear two men on trail from halfway house to Bighorn. Me hear them talk. They talk about Jarvis, Nelson. One of them was Topaz? Uh, me not sure. You tell me what Topaz looked like. And me tell you what me hear, huh? So that's it. Ah. You think trouble for Jarvis? Trouble for them both. They didn't discuss what they planned to do? No. It's going to happen tomorrow night, right here near Bighorn, when Nelson stays guest of town. That's right. There's one place where we can find out. Where's that? At Halfway House, Tonto. 
It's almost dawn. We should get there in a few hours before Nelson gets there with his stage. Uh-huh. Aren't we ready? Let's travel. Get him up, scout. One, Silver. Lone Ranger took a shortcut instead of the regular trail, heading cross-country so as to reach halfway house by mid-morning. They galloped through the night and on across the rolling prairie as the sun rose in the east and the shadows grew shorter. When they reached halfway house and dismounted, they found that their plans had gone wrong. Oh, Silver, steady, come, steady, come, steady. Come, steady. Hello! Hello! No pals! Room empty. Take a look in the other room, Hunter. Huh? Need a look. Well, Tonto? He's not there either. Topaz! That's strange. Where can he be? Mm, He's not savvy. Look along the bar. Uh-huh. The door was unlocked. That wouldn't matter. But he locks doors out here anyway. When he got here fast, it couldn't... Oh, what's this? Tonto? Uh-huh. Well, where'd you get paper? Right here under the door. Must have fallen off after Topaz fastened it there. Oh, uh, what note say? Make yourself at home. I've gone to Bighorn. Topaz? Yes. Must be Topaz. Hmm. So that's it. Him not say anything like that when me listened last night. He changed his mind. He took his horse and then... No. Uh-huh. Come along. The crowd's on the south side of the house. Uh, what you look for, Kim Masabi? There. Uh, me see horse in corral. That's just it, Tonto. Topaz went to Bighorn, but he didn't ride his horse. Maybe him got two horses, huh? I noticed that corral yesterday. That's the only horse he had. If he didn't use his pony, how'd he head for Bighorn? He didn't walk. Uh, me not savvy. Come on, back around in front. Use your eyes, Kimosabi. And there's the stagecoach trail, and... Yes, look. There are the marks of a stagecoach and a team of horses. When were those marks made? Oh, uh, print's still damp. That means they're only a few hours old. Toto, Topaz took Nelson's stage. But Nelson him say I that... I don't care what he said. He must have changed his mind. Perhaps he was eager to get back to Bighorn to settle things with Jarvis. Perhaps he wanted to see Miss Nelly. Whatever his reasons were, he's already come and gone and Topaz with him. You realize what that means? Me mm, savvy that plenty bad. Unless we get to Bighorn as soon as the stage does, there'll be another accident. An accident planned just like the last one. Only this time to Nelson's stage. Ah, Nelson, him think Jarvis get even. Him look for Jarvis with gun, huh? We won't be around to stop them. I know we've got to catch that stage. Count him plenty time, the big fellow. Then follow Kimosabi. Follow me as fast as you can. I can't wait for you this time. I need all the speed the silver has. You ride like wind. Adios, Kimosabi. Adios. Come on, silver. Oh, this he bad scout. Maybe stage near Bighorn already, huh? Comfortable? Sure are, Bob. Topaz. Yeah, boys. Have to work it smooth. You got that can of cool oil with you? Yeah. It's got Jarvis' name on it. He left it at halfway house a couple weeks Good. ago. Good. That'll make Nelson sure it's Jarvis trying to get even. <laughs> the place we're getting mad is right where Jarvis keeps his team and coach. Jarvis is sure to be there fixing that wheel. Yeah. We'll have that other seat soaked with oil. As we get out, I'll light this short length of fuse and leave it behind us. In a couple of seconds, it'll start a fire. <laughs> All Nelson will find will be this oil can with Jarvis's name on it. And nothing can keep him from shooting. <laughs> yep. Mighty slick way to get a stagecoach route, isn't it, huh? <laughs> Why, Jim, it's Bob Nelson. He's come in earlier than usual. Yeah, dropping off a couple of passengers. Nellie... You reckon I ought to... I ought to go up and... And apologize to Bob? Yeah. Yes, I do, Jim, right now. Um, Jim. Yes? Bob Nelson doesn't love me. And I don't love him. I... I love you. And I'll marry you. Uh, why, Nellie. Nell, honey, you mean it. Of course you... I do, silly. Now go ahead and make up with Bob Nelson. He's really as nice a boy as I know. Mm, next to you, of course. You wait right here. I'll make him the finest apology I ever made to anybody. A few moments later, Bob Nelson stood beside his lead horse, his eyes wide with amazement, and his fingers slowly releasing the gun he had reached for when Jim Jarvis hailed him. Neither he nor Jarvis noticed Topaz and Morris as they stood close by, 
a crafty gleam in her eyes. Jarvis, you mean you're making me an apology? You can let go of that gun, Nelson. I take back all I said. <laughs> well, that's mighty nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I kicked over your can of coal oil, Jarvis. Huh? Yeah, it's yours. Got your name right on that. Hey, what the... Nelson, your stagecoach is on fire. Where's my stagecoach? The back seat's on fire. Somebody... Let it be... All side, let me get that. Let me look out, you'll be burned. Look out, I'm pulling out the seat. Look out. There, let it burn where it is. Can't harm the coach now. Nelson, there was coal oil on that seat. Mister, you sure saved my stage that time, were you? Coal oil? Did you say coal oil? Gosh, that's too bad, Nelson. Say, what are you staring at me for? So that's it. All that talk was just soft soap to cover up while that fire got started, wasn't it? You started that fire, Josh. Boy, this can's even got your name on it. All right, you double-dealing, crawling rattlesnake, reach for your guns. This time, nobody's going to stop me. No, you don't, Nelson. Let go, let go of my arm. Jarvis had nothing to do with this, any more than you had anything to do with his wheel dropping off. Then who did? These two men right beside you, Topaz and Morris. They did this to get rid of you both. So they could start their own stage line. Hey, that Topaz, shoot him. Shoot him before No, him. you don't. Don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot anymore. Kino, I give up. It's true. It was me and Morris. I give up. Well, I'll be Steady, drawn. big fella. <laughs> Bob, Jim, keep your guns on them. Think you can see that they land in jail? Mister, we sure can. Then I'll be leaving. Oh, mister, wait a minute. I want to thank you. Yeah, we pulled. He's gone. Gosh, Bob, and all the time I thought it was you. Yeah, and I was ready to kill you for it. Uh, Jim, we've been a couple of loco idiots. There's no sense in fighting each other. What do you say we join up and have one stage line for the two of us? Why, that's just what I was going to suggest, Bob. Jim, Jim, I was never so excited in my life. All that happening all of a sudden, and, and now you two partners... <laughs> now, and... go easy. Let go my arm. We still got to march these hombres off to jail. How about it, Bob? Do we do it together? Partner, we sure do. <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 